us, baby. This is us. us, baby. I was like, why do you call me Gordo? Mijo, it's because I love you. I said, well, I love you too, but I don't call you Monstra. <laughs> Every single one of you is motivated. And the first thing, if you want to be motivated and successful, if you want to do great things, you have to find your motivation. Are you having a good time so far? <laughs> Have you ever seen those guys like, that think they have like these really nice cars, but it's like just ghetto sound system with like ghetto bass? Right, and they're driving next to you and the car just sounds like this. And they pull up next to you. You like a massage. We like to have him because the students really enjoy listening to him. And by their comments after he finishes, we know that they really absorbed his message. I think the kids really, really enjoyed him and they could really relate. The inspirational message that he had, I thought, was excellent. You see, when you go through disappointment, you have the option of believing what others say about you. You have the option of believing what your neighborhood says about you. You have the option of believing your own insecurities. Or you have the option of believing in great things. You see, all of us in life are going to go through disappointment. And when you're disappointed, you have two options. Number one, you can quit, or number two, you can keep on going. When people bully you and try to put you down, you have two options. You can say, I'm going to stay down, or I'm going to keep on going in spite of all the challenges. See, you can stay hurt, or you can believe in hope. You know, his message is about positivity and getting motivated to make something of yourself. Well, and I think that's very important for these students as an eighth grade teacher, so I really like his message. Uh, we just witnessed uh, David Garcia's motivational uh, speech. Good positive message. Uh, stay in school and, and follow your dreams. Don't give up. Very good presentation. Very Kids were excited. Some of them want to take pictures with them. And I was able to go all the way to Paris, first time in my life. And I went out there and I even told the people, the, the French speaking people, I was like, I'm going to come back one day and I'm going to speak French. And they looked at me and they had this joke in France and they say, this is what they said, they said, David, if you speak three languages, you are trilingual. If you speak two languages, you are... And if you speak one language, you are... American. <laughs> and then I said, but if you speak five languages, you're David Garcia. <laughs> Tell every one of you, you have another round. You can't quit right now. Now you can go as far as you want to. You can turn any negative into positive. You can overcome any obstacle. Maybe the person who has the cure for cancer is in this room right now. Maybe the first female president of America is in this room right now. Right? And when you're motivated, you have the strength to look at haters. You have the strength to look at the offers to do drugs and to join gangs. You have the strength to look at somebody offering you to drop out. You have the strength to take all that nonsense when people say you're a loser and you can't make it, it is gordo, it is fail, you're ugly, you're short, you're tall. You have the strength to look at all that and say, I'm going towards my future. I recommend David Garcia to anywhere he goes, especially to motivate young people. We have something within us that can drive us to better things. I would highly recommend Mr. David Garcia to be a motivational speaker for any high school. Thank you. And students, when you're motivated, you have the opportunity to go anywhere in life you want.